All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about pattern points. And the reason why is because if you can grasp these pattern points of a parabola, then you can bypass the table of values where you have to input several x values to get the y value output. This will save you time and hopefully you will feel comfortable with it as we progress. I call it the parabola dance steps because see every parabola is pretty predictable. The left side matches the right side and you're going to see in a minute that there's some patterns that evolve as a result of certain features. So before we, I, I spoil the fun, let's take a look at some things here. Every parabola is predictable in its moves and the value of A, and we know what that is, determines the pattern of the points. The most basic moves are as follows. Alright, so let's see if we can follow these dance steps as I call them. So over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5, over 1, up 7, over 1, up 9, etc. So my question to you is, what patterns do you see? And I guess the answer to that is, I hope that you can see that every single time, you're always going to go over 1. That's a pattern that we see in, this, in these dance moves. The next pattern is the vertical change is up 1, up 3, up 5, up 7, up 9. Basically, they're consecutive odd numbers. And all of this fits into the pattern of a parabola shape. And again, remember I used to call the value of A the commander-in-chief. And it wasn't just because it controlled the... Um, whether the parabola was up or down, or wide or thin, but it also kind of controls these pattern points, as we're about to see. So let's take a look at the most basic mother function. And that would be y equals x squared. And I'm going to just take this graph, and I'm going to highlight the readable points here. In other words, I can read this point, I can read this point, read this. I can't read this point right here very well. I can guess where it might be, but I don't know exactly where it is. But these points right here, I know exactly where they are. This one is at location 4-9. Okay, I also want you to point out the fact that A is equal to 1. So let's take a look at the pattern points. Notice, I'm going to go over 1, up 1. Over 1, up 3. Over 1, up 5. And then, of course, the reflection points are also following that same pattern. So that's it. That's the parabola dance moves. Let's take a look at this next one. Again, A is equal to 1. And I'm going to highlight the readable points, the points that I can read on this graph that are crossing through the crosshairs of this grid. Okay? So starting at the vertex, always start at the vertex. Go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5, and if I could go over another, it would be over 1, up 7. Alright, another one, A is equal to 1 again. The vertex has moved, but that doesn't matter. Starting at the vertex, right here, if I go over 1 and up 1, over 1 and up 3, over 1 and up 5, over 1 and up 7, let's go back, I would have the points of this graph. Okay, so what happens when the value of A changes from 1 to 2? 
It does have a, an impact on the pattern points or the dance moves. So let's take a look. I'm going to highlight again the readable points. Notice I'm going over one. This time I'm going up two. Next I'm going over one and up six. If I could go another dance move, I'd go over one and up nine. Okay, so let's let's unpack that for a second. Where are these other numbers coming from? Well, if you look at the vertical rise of every point we've done so far, it's been over one, up one, over one, up three, over one, up five, and so on and so forth. But this time, A is two. And the vertical rise is two. And the next vertical rise is six. And if I could go another dance move, the next rise would be 10. So can you see the pattern here? I'm still seeing the one, three, five in this picture but I'm multiplying every one of these dance moves by the value of A to get the new vertical rise. Okay, so that doesn't change as we go from one instance to another. Let's take a look at this one again. A is 2. If I highlight the pattern points, I'll go over 1, up 2, over 1, up 6. And if I could go another one, it would be over 1, up 10. Okay, again, the vertical rise up points are the only features that are affected. It still only goes over 1 every single time. But the vertical rise is affected by the value of 2. So I'll just... Remember that odd number sequence to get the new vertical rise. All right. This time, the value of A is 3. So let's take a look at what happens to the dance moves. Alright, so I'm going to highlight the readable points. And I'm going to notice I'm going to go over one, up three. Over one, up nine. And that's all I can fit on this, this little piece. And again, notice that I'm always going over, I'm always going over one each time. And I'm not going back to the vertex. I'm starting where I left off, over 1, up 9. To get the vertical rise, I will use the value of A, and I'll also include that odd number pattern. So if I could have more graph space, you'll see that the first vertical rise is 3. The second vertical rise is 9. If I could go over one more, the next vertical rise would be 15. And again, if you're not comfortable with this, then you are free to go back to using Old Faithful, table of values. That will get you where you want to go every single time. So what happens when A is equal to 4? Well, you've guessed it. The value of A equals 4. Of course, A does affect the vertical rise. Here we go. We can, I can only read the first set of vertical points. Over 1, up 4. Notice that the very first vertical rise is the value of A every single time. The next vertical rise would be over 1,
and we went up four. The next one would be over one and up 12. The next one would be over one and up 20. Okay. And so that concludes the pattern points. If you can grasp this, then you will have a much easier time graphing your parabolas. You won't have to spend a lot of time going through the table of values and wondering if you made a mistake and so on and so forth. So hopefully this makes more sense. And if not, come see me and I'll try to explain a little bit more.